The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman on this eighth day of March. This is Tuesday. We're down 199 in the Dow, down 205, down 207. The S and P is down 32. Remember, yesterday in the Chapman Way methodology, we're always looking for at least from a buy signal to a buy mode. You want to get to at least the fourth highest peak, and that's peak D. Peak A is one. Peak B is higher. High is peak B. Next highest peak is peak C. Then you get peak D. You can go higher, but D is where that's really kind of a target. That's what you say. That's the buy signal should go to a buy mode, and the buy mode implies at least four higher peaks. Look how the stop dead right on the 200 period exponential moving average. But you remember yesterday during my show? Look right here. We're doing the show. And I said, oh, look, there's a left side, right side price time match, blah, blah, blah. But I said, also, we've got a little doji candle at a peak D in the 10-minute chart at 43.25.25. And uh, it was just above the 200-period moving average. And then it came down. What did it come down to? It came to, down to about 41.80. And then it rallied to peak C1, C2, double top, pulls back to a low low. That was the low that was at about uh, 1.30 this morning. Then goes to another peak C1, C2. But the closer you get to a 200 period exponential moving average is the 10 minute E mini. The closer you get, the greater the chances are that you're going to touch that 200 period moving average. Well, we touched it and now we are down in the futures down 36 points. And what I say to subscribers, we have no new trades today. All we want to do is protect what we've got and look very closely at the levels. Because if 20, let me go back to the Dow right here. Because if Dow 32,750 gets taken out, that's a big problem. There should have been some kind of a, a rally based on many other factors, but not based on this Chapman Wave arch formation what is this arch formation no, i wonder if i can do that let me just move this to the to the left move that to the right click on this for those of you, oh, you who are new to my work of course we're getting a lot of people a lot of new people coming in uh, especially the tiger's den uh look the pattern that i look for is either straight up or straight down that's number one number two is a cup formation number three is an arch formation you can get a mix of one and two and one and three. In this particular case, the red H pattern says be careful because if you take out this left side low, you can go a lot lower. Here we are at 32,589, down 225 points in the Dow. That's 32,272. Now that we've taken out the low of the 24th of January, 33,150, the next level of support is 32,272. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to. There's no rule. It just says, just be careful because that's the dreaded H pattern. It, this, this right side slide, like a slalom, it just accelerates down. It's like one of those X games where you're looking at those, those folks uh, dropping uh, from a helicopter and going down the unbelievable mountain slopes. Uh, the momentum that you build up to the downside only stops when you really find some tremendous support. There is no support here. Uh, Got to be careful. And that applies to the weekly chart. That applies to the monthly chart. And the month has only really begun. We're only, this is the 8th of March. So let's hope that uh, something can happen. And one of the things that we're looking at here, it can't happen if you're going to have crude oil trading at 128.52. You can talk all you want. You can have all these political programs to help um, the needy, to help the poor, to help anyone who's struggling financially. But if you don't have prices of things people need all the time, like gas, like heating oil, like your grocery product. In fact, there are some products at the grocery uh, stores that mm, are in short supply. That is the crux of the matter. 
And that means that this is not just a near-term thing that's going to be resolved by uh, something that sounds really positive. It has to be constructive. And watch this chart. This is crude oil. Look at this chart in the monthly chart right here. We have just smashed through any resistance that was at the 100 level. And one of the things I, I was talking about some time ago, and I said, you know, how dumb is that? I have a rule of thumb, and it's just a rule of thumb, but it's a rule that you can, you can't take it to, uh, you can't say this is, this is absolutely a, a golden rule. It's just kind of something that happens so often that prices of anything, that, especially in the stock market, that go to 95, 96, in a very short while, if the momentum is still there, just go right through to 103 to 105. Well, crude oil did that last month. The high last month was 100, 100.54 in the continuous contract. It is 28% higher today. It is up. Just on the day, it's up 7.6, up $9 at 128.54. That means it's tackling the high that was made. That was a whole series of highs back in 2010 and 2011 that went to, and I, I'm giving you these prices, they get smoothed out. So everything about the chart, everything about it except the price is accurate because that gets changed. But the price that we will talk about right now is 144 way back in May of 2011, that whole area. And that was coming down from Russia invades Georgia, 1st of August, 2008 to the 12th of August. That was 12 days. I would say we were a little bit more than 12 days into uh, the uh, into Ukrainian um, invasion. And here we are, that was a high uh, July of 2008 at 219.41. I don't type the price in because it gets smoothed out, but everything except the price, the notation, a peak D in the Chapman wave, plummets down from that level in July 2008 to the low of February of 2009, and that was, on this particular basis, 92. So you're going from 100, uh, 219 to 92. I would say that that's more than a cut in half. All right. That's the issue. That's the issue. If you're looking at wheat, now let me just move this aside. Did I put that in there? Yes. If you're looking at wheat, that's wheat. Look at this. It is down 33 cents today, but that's off the eating 1363. 1363 in leg E. And that's why I say to subscribers, I think we're real close to some form of a little bit of a digestive phase in some of the uh, commodity areas. But look at this. You had, you had, look at that. Right here is limit up on the 4th of March, goes to 1,294. The next day, that's yesterday, limit up at... 1294. Oh, wait, what was it? Was it 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. This was 12. Oh, sorry, that was 1209. Next day was yesterday, 1294. And today it hits 1363 and is still above the gap from two days ago. Ay, ay, ay. This is. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. So let me just show you this. This is a two-minute chart of e -Bitty. Made a PT right there at about 710. I think it was, uh, must have been last night. Comes all the way down. Raised to peak D, pulls back, makes another peak D, and then you get this rogue wave to the upside where all the technicals are, are negative and it suddenly pops up and then it plunges down and it comes from the uh, 42, 12 ish area down to, uh, let's call it 41.80. And now we're at 41, 41.80, 41.60. 41 and now we're at 41.79. So one of the things I'd said to subscribers to my opening call this morning is I had a Chapman Wave chin gauge a very low reading yesterday, which suggested that the Dow should, um, early, very early on, near the open, should go negative. So from the open, you expected that it should go negative before any uh, more sustained rally can be attempted. Well, it looked like that was a complete miss. But in fact, after being up 140 or something in the futures, the Dow did open and it actually did rally and then it turned down and it came down sharply. So um, now at this particular point, this is more or less when you would start to get where the administration starts to leak a couple of things from the potential um, speech that's coming up in another, now it's less than it's about 40 minutes or 30 minutes or so, 25 minutes. And uh, this is where the market starts to say, hey, 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 maybe there's some good news and it starts to rally. So to say that the arch formation, that dreaded H pattern, was saved by the bell, well, the bell hasn't rung, but absolutely. So now the market is free to have some kind of a breathing room for a little while until some of the facts are out. We'll see what happens. Now, absolutely, within the context of what we're looking at here, these are the areas that I think are important. I spoke about how the command, how crude oil, absolutely imperative how um, that is an imperative because eight months ago nine months ago ten months ago, a year ago there was in the strategy of any administration you have to look to see who your friends are who the people are, are friends that you can trust who you the friends that mm, they're good they're good friends but you know what i wouldn't trust my life on that person and who, who are the um, countries that have their own independence and are therefore a little bit more able to 
coalesce on your own projections and thoughts, etc. Um, I think that's really difficult at this particular time. And therefore, the strategy should have been that, yes, of course, you want to talk about the environment. Of course, you want to talk about global warming. But you have to put it into perspective of life. And you have to say, I'm running a country and the country's resources are absolutely imperative to the, to the security, financial, humanitarian, and health of the country. And therefore, we have to consider things that might be politically ungainly, that might even be politically disastrous, but you've got to consider them. And that's the thing that concerns me the most, is I don't know how we're going to deal with something that we absolutely need if we want some form of independence. It's all very well saying, bring production here, back to America, etc. Um, you can talk about that. But when oil prices are going through, the not through the roof, it's through the skyscraper, um, that is really difficult to control. And that's the reason why I said yesterday, I'm going to jump to this to see that this is a, a leg E going to a peak E in the monthly chart. But look at the S&P. And the big question for me has been for a while, based on everything I'm looking at and based on my Chapman Wave methodology, having looked at uh, easy half a million charts, probably a million charts notated um, over the last 30, 40 years that I've been doing the notation of the Chapman Wave. Um, what? What is that? Is that really a peak B in the monthly chart that's about to come about? When in Chapman Wave methodology, that low of 2191.86 on March the 20, 2020 was the low, minus 35% cor correction. What do you mean? A, a bear market from 33.93 in February of 2020 to March's low. Look at the speed. I think what we're looking at now is time and probably price. Is there a chance that somehow, some way, in 2022, the market turns and we break to the 4820s to start a new leg C? That's been the big question. And the question is, I had said that everything about the Chamberlain methodology suggests that that should happen. Even now, consider what's happened since even the 1st of January. Or when the when the markets most of the markets made their highs back at the turn of December to January, uh, December last year, January of this year, when you think of what's going on, to be down at forty one eighty eight right now, uh, when you were at forty eight one eight three months ago, that's that's fantastic action. In a week's time, we might not be saying that if we're down at forty. Uh, uh, down at uh, 4088 or 3988, but right now. So you have to consider that a tremendous amount of geopolitical and economic negativity has transpired. Yes, we came out, we were pretty much out of COVID right now, hopefully. Um, and yet the market has been so stellar. Look at this. Stellar. Stellar! All right. What we're looking at here is that this wick of the candle of last month is being tested. And there's a pretty darn good chance that we will go to 41, 14.65 for the real test in the S&P. But if we have only begun the whole extrapolation of an aberration in oil prices, an aberration in grocery prices, just the whole sector of the commodity sector with grains. Look at the DBA, pulling back probably today a little bit. Uh, yeah, down 18 cents at 2206. I mean, this is the DB agricultural fund. So unless this really starts to go from 2205 and starts to trade below 20.80, in the next three weeks, those commodity prices are going to be, they're going to be pretty, I wouldn't say devastating, we don't know, but they're going to be critical to people's pocketbooks. So that's the reason why I'm saying I have said that I would consider last week that if you were starting to put money to work, 
over a period of time, and I said use months in which to, to average down, and that is your plan, I'm now saying I would take off a little bit of that to put back into cash because of the uncertainty. I, I'm not here to say, Chapman methodology at peak B says you should go to a C. What if we go down to 3,000 and over the next 18 months we go to 5,000 in the uh, S&P? That would be still uh, leg C. That would be the Chapman Wave methodology working. Do you want to take that risk that peak, the leg down off the peak B is very sharp? I'm saying under these conditions, and those are a number of people that uh, emailed me to say, what should we do? And I'm just saying, hey, it's not wrong. It's money management to say, under these conditions, take a little bit off. I'll be back. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Pablo on Basil Chapman, Tiger Tickets Tower, SB's down 29 towers, down 142, holding pattern. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, is, this is tough stuff. Okay, bonds. Bonds are trading right. Where did I type that in? I probably typed it into the den by mistake. I did. Sorry, Dan. The U.S. This is at U.S. So bonds are at this point down two, almost three points. That means the rates today are going higher. That means that the 200 period moving average, exponential moving average in the daily at 159 and a half was the repellent in leg D. Remember, leg D, the fourth highest peak, is where other things can happen. This is, 
the saving grace here would have been if the TLT bonds, the Lehman 20 year Treasury bond fund, instead of being at 137 right now, was over the 200 period moving average of 144, 145. It was over it and yields were coming down because that would say, um, at least for the moment, that one of the things is off the table. One of the things meaning with the Fed coming out with Fed speak over the next couple of days, I mean, really, in these conditions, do you think that, wow, can you imagine Powell, what, what a challenge. I mean, it's the same as the president at this particular point. What a challenge out there in the world. And for the uh, for, for um, Fed chair, the natural thing is to say we should be raising rates. We've had all these economic reports that are really fabulous. We've had actually earnings that are terrific. Tell that to Shopify, all these earnings, even they had pretty darn good earnings, etc. And look at them going from 1762 down to the price today of um, 530. 60% down. Uh, Shopify Inc. online store for individuals to use as a platform. This is just telling us that the conditions at this particular point right through the different sectors. Uh, you know, I like to look at Salesforce only as um, a, a proxy for being a company in, a, in an area that I, I don't know if they invented it, but they certainly, in terms of selling and marketing, are the premier company, Salesforce.com, cloud computing, 311 in November, and trading right now at 192 with 184, the low of the 24th. Where is, and they came out with absolutely superb earnings, um, and they're getting new customers and uh, trillions, they're talking about trillions. I don't know, down 100. So this means, in the can you imagine when we finally get a buy signal, what's gonna happen? I, it might be, it might be a minute, and we shoot up 25 to 3,000 points in the Dow. And then you have to digest those gains. So at any point, I don't think there's a problem saying, you know what, um, I'm afraid I'll miss the low. You know, if you miss the low, let's just go to the Dow for the moment. If you miss the low, well, you know what, I, I think a lot of people would be happy if we just got back. What is today? Today is Tuesday. And it's not Tuesday, it's Tuesday, just the first hour of trading. I would love if we got back to maybe last Thursday's high of 34,179 in the 34,170. Look how quickly we've come down and look how we're accelerating right now. This is the, this is the dreaded H pattern where the last part of the, um, the right side of the arch just zips down. I, I hope it stops very soon because this could get really ugly. So this is what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm trying to deal and I want you to spend today. I wanted to take some time because I've had so many questions about it. And one of the reasons why I said we have raised cash. We've been talking about cash for a long time. We've got other positions that we're trying. Um, I, I don't mind them as just one to two, maybe even three percent. Very small entries and we get, we get taken out or they hold this is a period where I think cash, at least for us, is king. And because of that, what we need to look at is start preparing over the next couple of weeks areas that you would like to get in for the long term, but you need to find some stabilization. In other words, even those stocks that we talk about all the time, like a DocuSign, DocuSign that's gone from uh, 314 to today's low of 92. Anyone who's in these stocks and, and has held them, you don't have to talk about a bear market. That is just the worst kind of bear market because you had an opportunity to get out, but the mindset was that these are fantastic companies, electronic signing, who isn't doing electronic signing? I mean, what's, what would be wrong with that? What's wrong with that is that when the environment changes and you are out, it's like the media. I don't want to talk about the media today. I've talked about the media enough. You've got to treat the media with this disdain and distrust. 
I don't care which side of the spectrum you're on, divide it in half and then divide again. Do your own homework because what you're hearing very often is just what they want to, whoever wants you to hear, it's easy. And I know that from people that I, I talk to all the time. Um, I know their, their, their political thinking and I know that they are listening to certain programs or shows and that kind of thinking means that they're just not getting a broader spectrum of both sides of a coin. And that's all I'm saying. I want both sides of the coin. I don't care how good or bad it is. I just want to hear it. And that's changed. For me, the media, uh, there's really not much difference when they talk about, um, when they talk about confining one's or limiting one's uh, um, it's out there, but you really have to search for it. But one's, one's choices, that's all. So here we go. With that said, VIX index. And one of the things that is really quite important to me is the slowness of the VIX within these rectangle formations, making a cup formation, going to higher highs. How that, when you think that the, that the, the market in the last four or five sessions has just gone straight down and yet the VIX index is still reluctant to break into the 40s it's at 37.18 this is telling you that there's just been a slow build up of fund managers who are, are buying some kind of protection or they're playing a trend that they see and it's not letting up none of the big rallies that we've seen has seen the VIX go back down under the 25 area and here it is at 37.21. So if no matter what is said in whatever the, con if it's a conference or a news conference or if it's just a speech given uh, in the next uh, from quarter to 11 or whatever, whenever the president uh, makes the announcements, if the volatility index later in the day starts to drop from 37 to 35.30 and hold at that low, in the low 35s, not 36, in the 35s, with the Dow suddenly instead of being down 161 right now, holding 230 to 260 points, the S&P instead of being down 34 is actually up 45 to 50 points. That is what you want to see with some kind of a turnaround that has at least endurance that can go into Wednesday and Thursday, a couple of days. That's what you'll need. So whatever is said, you want the response of the market to proportionately move in the direction of what's ever said. I'll be back in a moment. Bells of Japan. Thank you to Dow's down 184, S&P's down 37. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So uh, enough talking other than to say, uh, question came, he said, does this mean you're selling some of your diamond long position? Um, no. The diamond long position, let me just do this uh, from the, I'll go to the Dow chart right now. Um, that was bought. The low that was made on March the 23rd of 2020, we bought options and kept rolling them for a long time. But in April, the first week of April, after that low, we actually also bought the Dow Diamonds. But we've taken some of our, got a core position. That core position from a level down at about um, the equivalent of, what was it? I think I said, I've got it written down here. Uh, Dow Diamonds. Uh, long at uh, two ten point ninety nine third of April. That was at about I, I'd say it was under twenty one, twenty one thousand. That I'm I, I am still convinced that the whole aspect of the general public coming into the market, etc., that has to still culminate. So, if it, look when I was talking about all these things. There wasn't an aspect of war. That's come about over the, over the last uh, three, four weeks. But what's really important is that war, and I think uh, some of you might have seen Steve Rhodes did a great job. He showed charts at some point. He was showing charts of what happens to the market during war periods. It ain't pretty, at least for a while. It ain't pretty. Um, and then after a while, the market gets used to it. And that's actually I am talking right now. I want you to say Markets get used to certain things. A market, uh, when people say a market hates uncertainty, I say every single day there's uncertainty. No, the market hates uncertainty about uncertainty. You go once removed and you've got a real problem. We are three times or more removed. Why? Because we've got the interest rates as just as a factor sitting there. Because the Fed could mess things up or they could do the right thing. We don't know even what it is. That's number one. Number two is crude oil on its own would be a massive um, reason to think that you could even get some kind of stagflation. Well, you add that to gr the grains. None of this can be resolved. Ukraine, the farmers aren't going to get back to where Let's just say everything's fine. You think by next week we get all our grain? No. Uh, these things take time. So what I'm saying is that, that that diamonds, I don't think we're going back down there. I think we get, we've got a huge consolidation going on. And if we ameliorate the downside, I'll never forget once, and I could be wrong about the, the name. I think it was General Foods. I think it was General Foods. I was in the Dow. And there was takeover. And I had a sell signal. And, I, and the market should have gone down huge, but because of that one stock that, you know, it's, it's price weighted, because of that one stock, it held the Dow for months, or I, let's say at least for three months, so that by the time the consolidation and everything was done, 
when the market get, got going again, it went from a, a higher level. The base of support had risen. It should have been much lower down, but the one stock changed that. So what I'm saying is if we can use a whole bunch of time and whatever it takes to at least ameliorate the, 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 the terrible situation, um, I'm, I'm not even talking about the humanitarian side in U Ukraine, because the question came in about uh, when Ukraine is, uh, when, this, when things are settled. Well, I was listening to uh, a talk last night by someone who, who is really experienced in the whole area of the Ukraine and, and, and Putin in particular, talking about he's been isolated for two years, he's been in his dasha or whatever they call it, his summer home or winter home. Um, he, he's, he has fewer and fewer friends. I don't know about all that stuff. This is here, so we can't really tell whether that's true. Maybe it is. But he is isolated, and he's making decisions that are perhaps this is the one time that he's really making wrong decisions. He is ruthless to the core. Therefore, we don't know what the Ukraine situation is, as it is. I, mean, I can't stand when I'm looking at it. I remember with Croatia or, or Lib Lebanon, you, I don't care where it is. When you're looking at beautiful homes, just homes, they don't have to be beautiful, but homes suddenly being decimated. One minute there's this great, lovely building, next minute, boom, uh, it's, just, it's, it's gone. People can't live in it anymore. That is a tragedy, a human tragedy, when lives are taken like that. So I don't see how this is resolved. In what, It's going to be a series of resolutions, and uh, hopefully somehow or other, and even the talking of whatever is going on, there should have been no talking. Planes should have been given to Poland. Uh, whatever it is should have been done quietly, I mean, when you're dealing with a bully, you don't say, hey, Mr. Bull, look, yeah, come and hit me. You, 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 you turn around, you do every subterfuge you can to have them looking the wrong way, because when they get smacked, they come down hard. And we should have done that. And then once it's identified that Ukrainians are now using MIG, whatever it is they're using, um, then you can turn around and say, oh, yeah, by the way, two weeks ago, yeah. You don't say in a week's time uh, at 12.45, uh, you, know, you don't give times like that. There's a certain strategy, and that's what the market doesn't like. The market doesn't like that it cannot see a particular strategy working. So that's why I'm saying, and yes, it's SMHs. One of our benchmarks, when the SMHs go to all-time highs, the market generally does that. When they fail just to go to all-time highs, it means that there's a stalling formation and the market's probably going to have a bit of trouble. When they go to lows, it says, be careful. This is our benchmark. Semiconductors are the oil of the, 20, of the 1900s into the early 2000s. So semiconductors and the form of semiconductor is the energy source for the entire economies of the world going into the 21st century, where we are. So to see this deteriorate like that, I've been saying all the time, semiconductors are telling us there's a problem, and they themselves have a problem. So the semiconductor index is at 242. It's made a lower low. The, uh, we, uh, the highs that, that were made up at the 320 level, goodbye. It's on its way down. Look how it's filled in the wicks of the candles. The month is young. Yeah, it could be a bounce, but it's already gone underneath the lows that we made last summer. So we've just got to be careful, and that's really what I'm saying. Please, just think of think of yourself as being at the mercy of a lot of things that are activating the market's direction. That's all. Okay, <laughs> let's go on. We've got to go through um, questions came in. Let's just run them down. Uh, could I look at GE? Yep, GE. This is a company I'm kind of intrigued. I think GE is in a, some kind of a sweet spot as opposed to where it was. But that sweet spot might, be not not, might not be recognized at least for another maybe a month or two. And it's trading at 86. So that whole period, that whole area of 115 that it kept trying for made the double top. And now it's coming down. Just be real careful. That's GE. And uh, yeah, a couple of questions came in that I do right now. Uh, let's just get to uh, CCJ, a question in the den. Yep, CCJ. This is 
this case, coming out for uranium energy, finally getting a nice pop to the upside here. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Sorry, but I should have kept yanking away. Let's just go through all these things. Look, high-grade copper. High-grade copper... Uh, had a, a move over five, is now at 4.69, had a, a sharp pullback. But the weekly chart is saying that the, the rectangle formation has gone to the upper end. It might go down to the midpoint, uh, maybe 450s. But I think that should be support because copper is still in demand. You've got, um, I want to do copper. Okay, so the dollar, the dollar should be pulling back a tad from the high. Yep, it's pulling back just a tad. It's at 9908. Went to a new recovery high yesterday. This is, remember, um, the VIX index, that is your fear factor for the market. Gold is the fear factor for the geopolitical scene. The dollar is the, uh, the currency of favor in this particular environment because it's part of the U.S. economy. And I try to think of these separately. The bonds are now kind of stuck between what the Fed should do, what the Fed can't do. So try to isolate these things. We've just had a big spike, and now the Dow is up 14, s and is only down 6. Coming up to the speech, you know that whatever's going to be happening, they're going to try to you have to give at this point the market needs some positivity so you've got to get a positive uh, something we'll see how long the, the rally I hope the rally lasts so we need a rally gosh this is this is um, uh, unfortunate okay make it as clear as I can the VIX index needs to uh, start if, if there is a sustained um, if there is going to be a sustained rally 
you want to see the VIX index, V-I-X dot X, there we are, come on. You want to see the VIX trading not at 36.12, I don't know why this is not coming in correctly, I must have already messed up something. Um, you want to see the VIX index start to slide and must go to the low 35s. And the market, the down is to be up about 100, and really 200 and something points after three o'clock to sustain a move, that is. Sorry about that right background chart. We'll just try it one more time. I'm going to wrap up now. I'll be back with Tom O'Brien later on this afternoon. And don't forget, great programming coming up. Larry Pesavento next. And you've got Think or Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. See you a little later.